I'm feeling a little better today. I had a couple ideas about the monster, so I wanted to come out and take another look at it. So I'm getting a air code 9. And with the air code 9, that's usually because the levers jarred loose. So I got looking at the switch in there. And I, my voltmeter probes on there, or ohmmeter actually. And tested it when it was open, tested it when it was closed. And the switch is working properly, because I got thinking maybe that's not right. And that might be what stopped the motor, because if, if the connection is, is bad in there, the switch is going then the brake's going to be on and off and on and off so I'm thinking that but I tested it and it's working fine so I wrapped these wires in electrical tape because I thought you know when it was the the salt slush that was causing the problem I figured you know it's getting into here there might be a break in the wire so I wrapped this all up in electrical tape and it's all right here took it all off because I was going to start taking all my accessories off here and getting ready to ship this thing back to get fixed. And when I took the tape off of here, I noticed there's only one wire here. This is the wire that goes to the brake. There's two wires. And I don't know if you can see it, but the other wire is like right inside, right there. So that would explain error code 9. Because whether this is up or down, there's only one terminal going to it, and it's going to think it's an open circuit either way. So that explains that problem. Um, I'm hoping that's the only issue, because when I, I took the motor apart and I couldn't see, see anything wrong with it at all. It's not burned out, the brushes are good, all the connections are there. So I don't know what's going on with that. Hopefully it's just this right here. So the rear fender thing. Um, the last couple times I had this off, the brake lights, or tail light wasn't working on it. So, I got looking at, I tested the plug, and there's no continuity there. These are LEDs, so if you want, you know, it'll be polarized. So I tried both ways, and either way worked. And then I noticed this, another broken wire. So, not only are they using cheap steel on these things, they're also using cheap wire. So... I'm just, I'm, I'm just so fed up with everything. Like, what's going to happen next? You know, I just, I don't know what to expect. I don't know if I can trust this anymore. But, I'm going to fix this problem first. You know, grommet's coming out. Because I got thinking, the, the motor wires, <clears throat> there's only two. There's the red and black that go to directly to the controller. The only other wire is this one here. Um, sorry, nope. This one. No, this one isn't even connected. This one is totally separate from it, okay. So it's the brake wire. And it goes up with it and it plugs into the, the controller in its own special spot. So I got thinking, well, maybe that plug is yeah, just not in tight because that's the one that had all the tension on it when I had to take it apart at Tim Hortons and figure out what was going on so I thought well maybe the plug's just not in right and I really don't want to take this seat off again <laughs> it is so stinking heavy I'm just not in the mood for that so I noticed this so this is definitely the problem so I'm going to take the heat shrink tubing off of here, I'm going to cut this plug off and I'm going to put the spade connectors and just wrap the crap out of it with electrical tape and take this thing apart I don't know if I can get into it or not but if it's not working it doesn't matter if it's damaged anyway so, so I'll do a little bit of work and I'll, I'll see you in a bit Okay, I think I got the problem solved. Spade thermals. I cut the, the plug off. It's corroded really bad, so I can't use that. So I cut it off. 
got some spade terminals on and I will wrap these in electrical tape and keep them from touching each other. But for now, I'm just going to stick this in between them, keep them separated. And when I turn the monster on, no error code. So I got the problem solved. It is now working. So now I'm going to tape that up and see if I can take it for a drive around the yard.
So the monster started slowing down. So I kind of came back to my own neighborhood, just kind of hung around in the area just in case. Um, as I stopped here, if you look at the battery monitor, you see I got three bars. That's half the scale. But watch what happens as I sit here. I'm not doing anything. The only thing that's on is a scooter. No lights. I'm not moving. The brake is released, so it's not using any power. It's just the scooter being on. And there goes the first one. I'm down to two wires now. And there goes the second. And now I'm getting my low battery warning. So this is kind of what was happening last fall. The batteries were dying faster than the meter was saying. Yeah, apparently it's still doing that. I went 8.3 kilometers. And it used up the entire charge. Almost anyways. The batteries still have some, but how much further I could have gone. Well, for now, I'm using the ES950 to do the trail part of my tour, and then I come home and take the monster out and do the street part of the tour. Yeah. Not exactly my preferred way to do it, but I don't really get much of a choice right now. Really, really got to get those batteries changed. So you get down to the park here, and you can see everything's still pretty wet and soggy. You get barricades up because people tend to drive across the grass and get stuck. Leave deep ruts, mud, and that. Uh, do what they can to keep people from going down there until the ground's a little more solid. As I come up on the hill here, I notice something is missing. A big orange and white building that was sitting here with the old gravel pit place. CBM, I think, was the company. Uh, the building's gone. I have no idea what's happening. This is the first I'm seeing it. It's just gone. That whole area had a, a concrete wall around it. Uh, we've apparently taken that out as well. There's big piles of logs there, so they've been cutting trees down apparently. I have no idea what's happening. But I will be keeping an eye on it for sure. I've taken a satellite image from Google Images just of the building being there and, and all this land is all trees back in here. I, I don't know what's happening but something is changing. So I'm kind of get a before and after shot once the satellite images get a, updated in the future. But an interesting development here. But the building, I'd, as long as I've lived in Hanover which is 17 years. I've never seen that building in use. So it's just sitting there abandoned. I guess they're finished with the gravel pit. They got all the gravel below. They don't really need the building anymore. It just kind of sat there. Yeah, there's some kind of farm machinery parked in the back. And... Oh, you see the police in there every once in a while? Excuse me. Doing radar. The car's going by. But other than that, I've never seen any activity there at all. Yeah, keep an eye on 
Let's see what happens. Yeah, one more thing I want to talk about, and it's a fleet. Yeah, monster out doing the street tour. And I start hearing this familiar sound. And I look down, and sure enough, that fender brace has broken again. So, I don't understand this one the first time, I understand because I'm using the cheap steel, and there's no support on it, so the vibrations weaken to this, weaken the steel to the point where it just broke. Uh, but I repaired it, it shouldn't have broke, unless it's broken somewhere else, then I don't understand, <laughs> because the steel I used isn't cheap steel. Uh, I'm not exactly worried about it at this at this point, uh, I'm just gonna let it go. I got a lot of things I want to uh, need to work on first, and I'm gonna get my welder to make me some stronger braces for them. So for now, I just gotta go ignore it. Let it walk around all at once. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I got some exciting things coming up. Hopefully I can get caught up in my videos and still a couple months behind and everything, so I'm trying. I got so much to do otherwise other than just the computer and for some reason my computer is not burning disk properly, so I'm not able to get stuff out of the computer. So I have to delete some stuff in order to make room for a new video. Everything just takes so much time. So, thanks. Till next time, thanks again for watching. Have a good one.